Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Bioskill Circle and today we will discuss Scripps experiment of transformation. As the name suggests, it was Frederick Grift who performed this experiment and he performed this experiment in 1928. Before we talk about the experiment, observation, everything, let's see what exactly he used for the experiment. He used Streptococcus pneumoniae and mice for his experiment. Now, this Streptococcus pneumoniae is a bacterium that causes pneumonia in mammals, right? There are two different strains of this bacteria. One is smooth strain. These bacteria have a mucopolysaccharide coat and produce smooth and shiny colonies of bacteria when grown on a culture plate. S-type bacteria are virulent also. Another important term, virulent means pathogenic. It means that they can cause the disease, right? And another type of bacteria is R-type or rough strain. They do not possess coat and produce rough colonies when grown on a culture plate, right? They are non-virulent, means non-pathogenic. Both S and R strains are found in several types and are known as S1, S2, S3, etc. and R1, R2, R3, etc. respectively. Grift chose S3 and R2 strain for his experiment. Now, in the first case, Grift took R2 type bacteria that is the non-virulent strain means non-pathogenic so in the first case he injected r2 bacteria into mice and as we know that r2 uh, bacteria or r2 strain is non-virulent means non-pathogenic so mice suffered no illness and mice survived right so now the second case that is here he took S3 type bacteria that is the virulent strain means pathogenic. So when he took S3 type bacteria and injected into mice then the mice developed pneumonia and finally died. So here as per expectation mice died. Now the third case. Here he killed S3 type bacteria by heating them and he took the extract and injected into mice and because we know that bacteria were killed by heating so the mice did not develop disease and mice survived here. Right? Now, the fourth case that is very interesting one also. Here, he took heat killed S3 type bacteria and R2 type bacteria. Now, R2 bacteria is not going to kill the mice and heat killed bacteria is also not going to kill the mice. Right? So, if we mix it up, that then that should not kill the mice either. But when he took the mixture of heat killed S3 type bacteria and R2, by, R2 type bacteria and injected into the mice, mice developed pneumonia and died. So this was very surprising also and then he came up with his theory of transforming principle. He concluded that there was something that was transferred from the heat killed S strain to the R strain which helped the R strain bacteria to synthesize a smooth polysaccharide coat and thus become virulent. 
This must be due to the transfer of genetic material. However, he was not able to define the biochemical nature of genetic material from his experiments. So, if you like this video, hit the like button, share the video and do subscribe our channel. Thank you for watching our video.